I am so enamored with the idea of keeping Texas and Oklahoma out of the Big 12 championship. Now, I told you earlier, I have been sick, sick as a dog for 28, 28, 38, 48, even 48 hours. And I'm trying to figure out how to make sure Texas and OU don't go to the Big 12 championship game. Well, now, having understood that there's a three, four, four-way tie for second place in the Big 12, listen to this. Kansas State has lost to Oklahoma State. That's good, right? Oklahoma has also lost to Oklahoma State. That's good, right? So Oklahoma State should go to the Big 12 championship. Well, Iowa State beat Oklahoma State. Hmm, interesting. Iowa State lost to Oklahoma. Interesting. Iowa State at five and two, six and four overall is bull bound. But at five and two, having just beaten BYU and knowing that they beat Oklahoma State, they should go to the Big 12 championship over Oklahoma State, right? No. Because they beat because they because they beat Oklahoma State. But wait a second, wait a second. Oklahoma State beat Oklahoma. Should they they should go to the Big 12 championship over Oklahoma, right? Yes. But wait, but wait. Iowa State beat Oklahoma State. We are in that dreaded scenario that I already brought up last week. It's the tiebreaker scenario. Because you have Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Iowa State, and Kansas State all tied at five and two. Let's just take one moment. If we're considering leaving Texas and OU out of the Big 12 championship, then we need to take care of business. It's about taking care of business. I am so fired up on this very topic because I know that Oklahoma State had every, every opportunity to beat UCF this weekend. I know that Oklahoma State, this team, shouldn't go into Orlando, Florida and lose that way, right? The parity of the Big 12 is crazy, but it is mind-boggling, mind-boggling that Oklahoma State could lose to that level. 45 to 3. What are we doing? Not only did you lose 45-3, you didn't score in the first half. It took a late score, a, a third quarter score to even get you on the board to not be shut out. The monsoon, an excuse. Sure, you should have, you do have, statistically this season, the better running game than UCF. Instead, John Rice Plumley's three touchdowns, RJ Harvey's three touchdowns, shown through in a win for, 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 for Central Florida that was so dramatic, their backup quarterback, Timmy McLean, got to effectively go in without issue. I don't... 19 passes is all it took for Oklahoma State to lose to UCF. UCF, the Knights, threw 19 passes. So, can we still keep Texas and Oklahoma out of the Big 12 championship? Well, look, this was a big game to say no. This was the big game to say Oklahoma can stay out. Oklahoma State, congrats, you punch your ticket. I, I posted a video last week and said, Oklahoma State, congratulations, you're in. And now, with Houston up next on the road, and then BYU again, you should win those games, but you should win the game against UCF. Not only did you not win, you lost 45-3. to three. Oh, look again, I'll be honest with you. I don't have to do the emergency podcast thing, right? That is a an addition to the job when need be. When I feel like, you know what? It was such a wild week, such a wild week in conference play that we need a, a an extra podcast. And this week, the fact that Oklahoma State did what it did, but you know what? Gosh, dang it. I got to come back. I, I got to give you the extra. I got to give you the juice that keeps Oklahoma and Oklahoma State out because there's not a lot of it. So now our wish becomes for Texas, for, for Oklahoma and Texas to keep them out. Our wish becomes for Texas to effectively lose two games because if they're tied with everybody else, there's a real shot they get in. Iowa State, you look great. The win at BYU looks great. Now you get Texas at home. I can tell you how it's going to go, guys. I can tell you how it's going to go. Iowa State's going to be favored by 10, 12, favored. Underdogs by 10, 12. Texas favored. On the road. Everybody counting out the Longhorns. And at some point this week, I'm going to have to start talking about Steve Sarkeesian's team being legit. 
Steve Sarkeesian's team being right there in the thick, not just the thick, but the forefront of the Big 12. The national analysts are already talking about it, and they're right. Texas in the middle of that. So let's consider them in, right? Now what? If Texas is the team, not Oklahoma State, who's in the Big 12 championship, no matter the line against Iowa State, no matter the win, they're still right there, squarely right there. Now what? We really need Oklahoma to lose. We the, the fact that Oklahoma's blown out so many teams, their, their losses have been by one score or less. We need them to lose at 11 a.m. against BYU, and they're not going to. We need them to lose to TCU at home at 11 a.m., and they're not going to. Sadly, we are looking right down, unless something crazy happens. We need the tiebreaker to work in our favor. We're looking right down Texas and OU in the Big 12 championship. Oh, the new guys. Who's the bust of the new teams? Who do we what do we do with this? What do you do? What do we do with the new four? This Lockdown Big 12, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day.